Hey Joe, it's Folks here. In today's video, I'm going to share with you the top three design mistakes people make with their t-shirts in about five minutes or less. Personally, I do not sell t-shirts anymore. I make a lot of content about that. I have switched to products that make a lot more profits. However, my first print-on-demand store ever that was successful was a t-shirt store. I've also done some work with others who are selling shirts, so I just wanna share some of my experience. The first mistake could be somewhat controversial. You kind Kind of want to make sure that you avoid doing stuff like this or like this or like this. You can see that each one of these shirts is text only. In a lot of cases, if you are doing a text only design, it could be tough for you to actually convey your niche and even get people to pay for your shirt. Yes, sometimes your quote could be funny, but at the end of the day, it sort of appears cheap and you might actually struggle to make sales. The second mistake people make is kind of the opposite of mistake one, where they do something like this here here where it is only a graphic. Making a design with only a graphic, again, does not allow you to really convey your niche well. A lot of times a niche is fully conveyed when you are able to use both a graphic and a text in your design. Even if you do that though, sometimes you end up making mistake number three, which is something like this here. It is basically a design style that I call a stacked quote. You can see the text kind of looks like Microsoft Word type text. There's also just some clip art inside of it. This type of a design has no aesthetic to it. It is basically just text and clip art sort of stacked together. In a moment, I have a bonus mistake that I want to share with you, but if you are creating designs for t-shirts or any print-on-demand product, you kind of want to make sure you are doing three things to avoid the mistakes that we've gone through. The first is having some great text. The second is having a great graphic. And the third is having a great aesthetic. On the screen right now are examples of different designs on t-shirts that have all three. These shirts are likely selling very well. They are from stores that I have reviewed on my main YouTube channel. If you have not seen my main YouTube channel where I upload more long form content about print on demand, I will put a link in the pinned comment of this video where you can see a lot of other products that I've reviewed and even a lot of stores that I've found that are doing quite well. The point of this video today was to hopefully help you and help you to avoid making some really simple mistakes. Here on my second channel, I try to make videos that are straight to the point in five minutes or less. A bonus mistake I have for you would be to avoid something like this here. This design obviously violates trademarks in more than one way. They have Michael Myers being featured on the design. They also have a play on the Nike logo and the word Nike. Instead of Nike, they wrote Mike. Even if you think you are being smart and creating a cool design that doesn't actually say Nike, you cannot use the Nike swoosh and you should also not use different characters from movies. A major mistake that I see a lot of people make with their designs, whether they're t-shirts or not, is violating trademarks and copyrights. So ultimately, if you are selling shirts, try to abide by these rules. Hopefully the examples were helpful. If you have any questions, let me know down below. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next five minute video. And if you enjoyed this quick video, make sure to check out my full course. It is completely free. It is called POD for Dummies Inside or Over 30 Videos that show you how to build a Shopify print on demand store. I also have several videos to help you to get started with social media marketing. As I said, it's completely free and there is a link down in the description. I also have a main print on demand channel where I upload more long form videos you could check out. There is a link down in the description as well for that. On that channel, I show lots of really cool print on demand products. I also break down strategies I'm currently using in my own print on demand stores to make daily sales. This channel here is where I upload just quick five minute POD videos. Make sure to subscribe if that's something you're interested in and thank you for watching. Let me know if you have any questions in the comments below.